Hello everyone. In the last video, we have seen the male reproductive system. In this video, we are going to see the female reproductive system. Here, you can see the diagram of the female reproductive system. The main constituent of this system are these two oval shaped organs which are called as ovaries and are placed inside the abdominal cavity of a woman near the kidney. A woman has two ovaries and these are the primary female reproductive organ. The main function of ovaries is to produce the female sex cells or the female gametes in the female called as ova or egg. Another function is to produce hormones which are estrogen and progesterone. Now when a girl is born, these ovaries consist of many immature eggs and on reaching the age of puberty, these eggs start to mature. One egg is released every month from this ovary. Just above these ovaries is the tubular structure which you can see here are called as oviduct or the fallopian tubes. These tubes connect to the ovaries through these funnel-like structures. The main function of the fallopian tube is to carry the egg. Now you can see here that these fallopian tubes are opening into a bag-like structure. This is the uterus. The growth and the development of the fertilized egg or the zygote takes place here only. The uterus opens into a narrow passage which is called as cervix to another tube which is called as vagina. Now the vagina is also called as the birth canal as it is through this passage only that the baby is born. There is one more important point to be noted here that unlike males where they have the common passage for the urine and the sperms, in females the openings for passing out urine and the vaginal openings are separate. Now we have understood the male reproductive system and the female reproductive system. So let's understand the reproduction process. In the last video, we have seen how the sperms were produced and are carried in the male body. In the first step of reproduction, the vagina from the female reproductive system receives the sperms from the male through the penis during the process of intercourse or mating. At a time, millions of sperms are released in the vagina which are highly mobile and move very fast. Once released, these sperms are carried through the cervix and from there they enter into the uterus. From the uterus, they enter into the fallopian tube. Like you can see here how these sperms are carried through the oviduct. The egg released by the ovary is present in the oviduct. The egg is released by the ovary during the process of ovulation. Now the sperms are highly mobile and active which are moving through the oviduct, encounter the egg and tries to fuse with it. It's like millions of sperms are racing with each other and only one sperm comes out as a winner, fuses with the egg and forms the zygote. So this is how fertilization takes place. One important thing to note here is that the fertilization takes place in the oviduct. After fertilization, the zygote is formed. Now this zygote moves down into the uterus where it implants in the inner lining of the uterus and divides multiple times by the process of mitosis. Now before implantation, the uterus must be already prepared so that it can develop the embryo inside it. The interesting thing is that the mother's body is already designed to undertake the development of a child and hence the uterus prepares itself every month to receive and nurture the growing embryo. The inner lining of the uterus thickens and is richly supplied with blood vessels so that it can nourish the growing embryo. After implantation of the zygote, a dish-shaped special tissue called placenta develops between the uterus wall and the embryo. The embryo gets all its nutrition from the mother's body through this placenta only. On the embryo side, the placenta has willy and on the mother's side, it contains the blood spaces. Willy contains the blood vessels and is surrounded by the blood spaces. And in these blood spaces, blood flows through which glucose and oxygen is passed to the developing baby from the mother. The waste material from the developing baby is removed with the help of this placenta. It takes 9 months for an embryo to develop into a child. 
When the muscles of the uterus starts to contract rhythmically, the process of birth begins. This contraction of muscles of the uterus rhythmically pushes out the baby from the mother's body through the vagina. So we have seen the reproduction process. See you in the next video.